and welcome back to my channel my name is Sandra and I'm the host and the designer behind Sandra Stitches and you're here because this is part two of the series about the mood wrap challenge we had in my uh, Facebook group which took place in uh, January 2023 it's a kind of challenge that we took uh, on upon ourselves to uh, represent the mood we are in each day of the month so we can reflect back and see what's going on really so i'm really glad that you came back anyhow don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i have more videos coming for you after we finish this series more ideas more tutorials more challenges and of course you are very welcome to join our group and see what's going on in there all the links are in the description box so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a video oh okay again it jumped i don't know what's going on it's jumping but it's sm live so how are we all today this is day three of our mood challenge mood wrap challenge uh, i will wait a few seconds to see if somebody will join me uh, i in the meantime, if you're new and you're just watching this in the replay or you will join me, um, this is, uh, my name is Sandra and I'm the designer behind Sandra Stitches and I'm your host here in the group. And I'm so excited that so many people joined us. It's a new thing for you. But if you join me here in the live, so you will hear me speaking English, which is not my first uh, language because I live in Haifa, Israel. And um, yeah, so this is how it goes. But my English is okay and you will understand everything and it's going to be fun. So we are uh, having this challenge, the mood wrap challenge if you join me please say hi in the comments so i know who is with me and uh you know we can chat and see what's going on um usually it takes a few minutes until people uh, join so i can just you know wait a few minutes in the meantime i want to show you this scarf I talked about it in the group. <coughs> this is the scarf that is featured in the Happily Hooked magazine new January issue that came out two days ago. And this scarf is featured there. The pattern is there free. If you have a subscription in Happily Hooked magazine, so you get this pattern for free. This is an amazing scarf I designed last year and I really, I love it. It's so soft and so nice and really the pattern, very, very texture. You can see it has the mock, uh, mock cable here and some puff bubbles, small, very small bar, puff stitch here. So yes, this is the scarf from the Happily Hooked magazine and you can see it there. So today I don't see anybody joining me. I know Barbara is not coming because she has a vet appointment for her pet. Uh, she usually joins, but um, maybe some other people will join me. We are making the mood wrap uh, 
challenge. Each day we choose one color to represent the mood that we have this day. And uh, yeah, and after a while, maybe a month or two, we will have a wrap. Shawl, scarf, you know, I talked in the first slide that you can decide if you want to make it a wrap, if you want to make it a blanket. If you want to walk it horizontal like I'm doing, or maybe you want to walk it vertical in small uh, rows. So you will have more colors going on. I decided to work it horizontal and I also uh, decided like Barbara, she wrote in the group that she is going to make two rows each day. We are using the Suzette stitch, which is a really easy stitch and it gives beautiful, beautiful texture as you can see. So we are, yeah, we are using this stitch and today this was my first day, it was the happy day, this one was yesterday, it was a calm day and today I'm using this one because I am a little bit angry today. I have a story for you and I will tell it to you while I'm doing the row. So let's see. Um, so I have to change colors. I hope you have a technique how to change colors. If not, I did uh, yesterday, in yesterday's live, I, I just did a small presentation how to do it. But you know, everybody has a different technique on how to change colors. So the thing was that, one second, I'll take the scarf here and I'll be I am in the process of uh, building a website and I was um, approached by this lady, uh, Israeli lady, that she has a, I think it's a digital school in, uh, not in Israel, she runs it in Georgia. not. United States, Georgia, <laughs> the country, Georgia, you know, if you don't know, so it's near uh, Russia. Beautiful country. I visited it. We had a trip there. Beautiful country, amazing people, amazing food. So this uh, lady, she's running a digital school there, which means that they have students and they teach them all kind of digital things like uh, building websites and uh, managing social media and all kind of things. And when they finish the courses, they can get hired in uh, Israeli companies if, if they want. But everything is uh, in English, uh, they don't speak Hebrew, so okay. And she said that uh, She's looking for um, people who need websites uh, so that the students, they need the projects for the final project. I said, great, of course I want it. It's free and it, they will give me the basic uh, uh, website and then I, I will be able to, you know, put all my, uh, things inside and I know how to do it, but I needed somebody to start it, to make the basic, all the connections and the, with the domain and the email and all kind of things, all kind of techy things that I can do. But I thought, okay, if she is, uh, if they are willing to do it for me for free and also I can help a student get a good grade, why not? So, you know there is a saying that says that uh, when you get something um, cheap, you pay a lot of money. 
So what happened was that I got a student that wasn't really good student, not very skilled one, and he made a lot of mess with my things. Uh, of course, I didn't get a website yet, but why am I angry? Because I, he made, I don't know, such a mess with my email and my domain, so I didn't have my email for two days, and I couldn't, you know, respond to people and send emails and all kind of things. And everything was messed up. And he didn't know how to correct it, how to make it uh, OK again. So I had to talk to the manager there. And then they tried to do something. And then, you know, it was a mess. Of course, they apologized. And they said that uh, he wasn't such a good student and whatever. And now they are giving me a new student to start all over again. But uh, it was like two weeks that I, I, I waited and I wasted on this thing. Of course, I don't have to go on with it. I can just say, OK, thank you, bye bye, I don't want it, um, and go somewhere else, do it myself, or maybe pay somebody to do it for me. But I said, you know what, let's give them a chance because, you know, it's a good cause after all. And also it's free. I'm not in such hurry to, you know, I'm not, it's not uh, that I need the website today, but I do need it because I have a lot of um, things that I want to do with the website. Um, so I got a, big, a bit angry today. So I decided that I will uh, use my pumpkin color yarn because it represents, here in my chart, it represents the angry mood. I'm not really angry. I'm a little bit disappointed, irritated because all the mess he did, I w then I was really angry, but now, they managed to fix most of it. I still have some issues that I don't know what's going on there. I have to check. But um, I was mostly disappointed because, you know, if you offer such a thing, I think you should monitor it and be on it all the time because people, you know, even though it's free, and what can you expect when you get something free? But if you want to be professional, so be professional until the end. So they apologized and everything, and they said, wow, well, we're so sorry that this happened to you and everything and everything. So I decided to give them a second chance and see what happens and see if uh, they managed to come up with a website for me, <laughs> a design for a website for me, so I can start uh, entering all my data and all my blog posts and everything. Because what I want to do is um, put all, most of my patterns free in the website so that you can go there and have them free. And if you want a PDF, add free so you can buy in Ravelry. But it will take more time than I thought. I see that somebody is joining me. Please say hi in the comments so I can know who is joining me and we can chat a little bit. So I'm working on row three. This is what I'm up to up until now. What do you think about my colors? Yeah, I think it's great. It's coming up really, really nice. And I'm going to do two rows for each day. So the pattern pops up a little bit more. Yeah, who is in the com? Ah, Angelica, good morning from San Diego. Hi, 
You're new to the group, I think, yes? Are you joining us for the mudra? Are you, did you start to work on it? Tell me in the comments so we can uh, chat a little bit. Well, yeah, great. So you are more than welcome to uh, share in the group. Uh, how is it going for you if you have, ah, you haven't yet. Okay, so when you do, you're more than welcome to share in the group to, um, if you have any questions or anything. So we are working the Suzette stitch, which is basically one single, one double in the same stitch. Skip one, one single, one double in the same stitch. That's it. And you always finish your row with one single. And then you start the next row in the first stitch from the hook. One single, one double, skip one, one single, one double, skip one, like that. It makes a wonderful look, wonderful uh, texture. And uh, yeah, this is what the group decided, that we are going to use this stitch. And today I'm working on row number three. And there was a story I told about it. So if you want to hear the story, you can watch later the replay. Anyway, um, I will finish this row. And yeah, I think, let's see. So as I said, I was a little bit angry. This is why I'm using my pumpkin pumpkin uh, color from my chart. You can make a chart like this and decide the colors that you want for each mood that you decide. So today I took the pumpkin uh, color because I was a little bit mad, angry, mostly disappointed, but I really hope that it will sort itself out what happened. And uh, I'll tell you when I know more, um, more details about it. And yeah, let's crochet this row together. So uh, Angelica, tell me how um, you're from San Diego. Mm, I love San Diego. I've been there a few times because uh, we lived in the US for about three years, but it was long time ago. It was in 2003. Um, so, and we lived in a place called um, Santa Clarita. You probably know that place. So we traveled to San Diego a few times. We lived there and yeah, it was awesome. You know Santa Clarita? You've been there? Sometimes people from don't travel around so much. I remember when I when we were there and I talked to one of the principals of um, my daughter's school. She was in middle school and he asked me where we are from and I, I told him we are from Israel. And he said, you know what? You came all the way from Israel and I have never left Burbank. <laughs> I looked at him and I said, what? <laughs> you never left Burbank? So to start traveling your country, <laughs> like the US. <laughs> you moved to California in March last year. Oh, okay. Where from? I came to the States almost 39 years ago. Oh, where are you from originally? We love to travel and we travel a lot. Um, of course, when there was COVID, we didn't travel. From Germany, oh, so you are from our area in Europe. The truth is, I have never been to Germany. My husband was many times for his work, but I've never, my daughters were a few times, they love Berlin. 
and but I've never been there, never. I don't know. I have to go. Ah, you lived in Florida, Colorado, and Tennessee. Yeah, well, many places. So when we lived in the States, we just lived in California. We were there for almost three years, and then we had to come back home. Uh, so yeah, it was amazing. We really loved it, and we traveled a lot all around, all the time. Um, but yeah, we loved it. We loved it uh, living in the States. But you know, Israel is our home, so we live here now. But we travel all the time. When we can, we go to places. You like to travel? You get to go back home to Germany sometimes? Here I am. Finishing my row. So, let me see. Is there anybody else in the, here with us? I don't see anybody. So, people will watch the replay if uh, they come later. And this is day three. I said that I will be live here every day for maybe two weeks, like, you know, week and a half. We'll see in the weekend um, so that uh, people can join me if they want to come and do it together. So we have a time to do it together. This is the, maybe the hour is not such a good hour, but the thing is that um, because it's the opposite hours, uh, the difference in the times. So now it's uh, 6.30 in the afternoon, and I cannot be every day later. So this will do. What do you think about my colors? You like them? We love to travel. I'm actually going home next month for three weeks. It's been five years. <gasps> wow, good for you. Five years, yeah, probably COVID, yeah. Nobody traveled during COVID. And yeah, wow, it's going to be exciting to be home after five years, right? You like the colors? Great. So I hope I see yours in the group and everybody else who is the walking the mood wrap. Um, I think it's um, the reason I made this challenge is because I thought it would be a nice, uh, you know, event to sit down for 15 minutes each day and think about how we feel, like our mood represents, right, how we feel that day and think about it, especially in the beginning of the year when we have all this chaos going on in the head, you know, all kind of New Year resolutions and uh, reflecting on what happened last year and what we did do, what we didn't do, and whatever. So sitting for 15 minutes, how long are we chatting here? 20 minutes and making one row that reflects that will give us a little bit of um, feeling and for ourselves, like putting ourselves in the first place and uh, thinking about our mental health, our stress, our uh, day or whatever, and what we can do to feel better. So this is it for today.